Are you someone who suspects an underactive thyroid? Are you being told that your labs are normal and your symptoms, well, they're just simply all in your head? And when you ask your doctor to run more tests, to maybe check your thyroid, your doctor just says, no, everything is fine. And yet, the number one cause of a low thyroid is actually autoimmune disease, known as Hashimoto. And yet, they almost never test for it. Why, you ask? Because it doesn't change their treatment protocol. In fact, this could be one of the most mismanaged health conditions in medicine, autoimmune thyroid. So if you feel something is amiss, then there's a reason you're not feeling like yourself. If you're frustrated about not getting the testing you need, then it's time to dig a little deeper. Yeah, I see patients all the time being told they're fine. Still, all the signs and the symptoms point to a low thyroid. Bloat, constipation, weight gain, fatigue, and even brain fog. You see, conventional medicine looks at this from a very limited perspective. To them, it's black or white. They're simply looking for pathology. They evaluate your thyroid gland by looking at one test marker, TSH. And that's really just to figure out whether they medicate or not. The problem in part is that every lab has different ranges. Also, the ranges are too broad, so a lot of women aren't being helped. More importantly, that marker is often meaningless without more detail and more context. For example, what's called an optimal range is actually just the population's average, not those of healthy individuals. This means that for a lot of women, they have all the signs and symptoms of bloat, constipation, fatigue, weight gain, and yes, brain fog, all the signs of an underactive thyroid and given no way to resolve it. Hey, your symptoms, how you feel, these are not wrong. Listen, your doctor ignores your request to run a full thyroid panel. And then your doctor isn't equipped at figuring out why your thyroid is functioning slow. And basically probably just issues a prescription for Xanax instead. Am I right? Whether you still feel tired after sleeping a full eight hours, or you find yourself being more upset, having more gastric distress, whatever it is, this is all connected. The part of the brain that's responsible for processing emotions, it's called the limbic system, the emotional brain, it needs fuel to thrive. If your thyroid is fatigued, so is your brain. It's a mistake, however, to look at thyroid hormones alone because hormones themselves do not work in isolation. They work in concert, meaning that you have stress hormones like cortisol, and reproductive hormones such as progesterone and estrogen and testosterone, not just thyroid hormones. It's part of the whole endocrine system. And all the systems are deeply interconnected. Your hormones, right, including your thyroid, are connected to your digestive system and your immune system and your nervous system, your brain. All of it has to be in concert with each other. Hey, if you're finding this information interesting, but you would like to take a deeper dive and learn more about functional medicine, to find out if it's really right for you. In my experience, it's been transformative for so many people's lives. But that's why I've created a more comprehensive free course for you. Uh, that way you can learn more about the testing. I'm often asked like, well, what kind of testing do you do, Dr. Pucci, that's different than the conventional medical model? So in this free presentation,